This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is The Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight from New York, New York. And, oh, let me turn on the lights here. There we go. I, I forgot to turn on the, uh, the live video, but it's on now. So you, if you want to watch it, it's out there for you to watch, folks, okay? All right. Okay. Hmm. Boy, getting cold, huh? All across the country. Uh, not good, not good. But we'll go out to where it's a little bit warmer, I would imagine. I think it's a little bit warmer out there. Uh, as we go out to California, and uh, let's see here. Uh, but beep, 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 just push the right button here, and there we go. There's Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Philip. Hey, good evening. It's uh, let me be the first to wish you a happy birthday on this show. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Um, you know, I, I, I get a little sick of my I really dread my birthday because mm -hmm. of my Facebook page. Oh, yeah. It gets inundated. I mean, I had over 400 well wishers this year and i know that most of them just saw a thing that said south spent his birthday send him a greeting and then it says happy birthday alex well i think that's a, it's a nice thing Wait i did turn off the notifications yeah well uh, you didn't get one give i didn't get one from you uh yeah i sent you, you a send... uh, a private message oh did you really i can't remember yeah what did i um uh don't know if it was I think I'm, it might have been an email mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah I think it was an email uh, it could have been could have been yeah, yeah. I, it, I, I said something snarky <laughs> <laughs> something snarky yeah yeah okay that's nice yeah I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to look I'll resend it if uh, I if you didn't see it amongst the 400 uh, other ones that you got mm. it was it was uh, over 400 yeah, and, now, and you know, I mean, it's just that I got, I have, to, I like to look through them only because I want to see if some people, you know, who I know, wish me a happy birthday so that I can say, hey, you know, I, I got your thing, okay? Yeah, now I, I'm pretty sure uh, I, I did write something snarky, uh, you know, nice. I wish you a happy birthday, and I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was, it was cute. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, what are you, 84, right? 83, 83. Yeah. So if I was, if you were dyslexic, you'd be 38. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, so, I'm just, uh, you know, what, what, what's it like to be 38? I'm, I mean, 30, 83. <laughs> <laughs> I think I met you, you were, uh, probably in your early 30s. I was, it was uh, like 73 I met you. I'm trying to think. What's 1973? Yeah, you were uh, living on 14th Street. Oh yeah, yeah. And oh, you were living, oh, and, oh, and oh, Naomi uh, uh, Page was there. She made me breakfast. Mm, okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, your uh, your car was stuck in the uh, in the garage. There was some electrical outage, and you couldn't open the garage door. Right. So you stood on the air. It was on WPLJ. You said you needed a ride home. So right. I gave you And one. so there, there he was, folks. There, there I was. And then we got to know you when we got to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that was in 1979? Well, I think the end of 79. Seven, end of yeah. 79, beginning of 80. Yeah, yeah. So I've known you how many years? Uh, well, it depends oh, if, it, it, if, be, if it was a chance meeting or... Uh, uh, let's see, that's uh, 20, 40, 42, 43. And something like that. Yeah, uh, not including well, the... Well, I uh, think that's long enough, and it's been nice knowing you, Yeah, Bill. Yeah, hey, have a nice day. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I was going to ask you... Yeah. 
now that uh, you're you're approaching uh, the latter part of your life, and you know you've had a very storied career, and you've you've done uh, you've done a lot of really neat things. You've met a lot of really uninteresting people. You've interviewed uh, some of the most interesting people in the world. Mm -hmm. um, What's still on the plate for you? What 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 are you dreaming of doing that you you either haven't done or you want to do again? What's your bucket list? Not dying tonight. Well, yeah. if if I stay on this thing for another half hour, you will. No, <laughs> no I don't have anything on my bucket. That's a terrible part about it. As you get older, you don't have a bucket list left. You know, and yeah. it, it, you know it used to be that I could fill four hours just talking myself about what happened to me that day. And yeah. now my life is so uninteresting, I couldn't tell you what happened in the last 10 minutes. You know, I mean, really, it's not exciting. It's just, just not exciting. Now, yeah. maybe it's just that it wouldn't have been exciting anyway because maybe life isn't as exciting as it used to be, you know. Well, part of that could be the COVID thing and, you know, stay, having to stay away from other people and, uh, you know, worry about getting sick. You yeah. Know, uh, the, those things can, you know. Well, I mean, I just, I mean, but even then I could talk about, I could talk about my day in, oh, gee, your green screen. When you hold up your bottle. Uh, it's green. It, it's a ghost it, of a you bottle. You got an empty bottle of Pellegrino there. Yeah, well, actually <laughs> it's, it's still nourishing. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. It's the uh, wrong color for a green screen. Yeah, right. Um, uh, no, what was I going to say? I don't oh, know. You, you were, uh, you were saying uh, Just that not, not as exciting, you know, yeah. nothing exciting particularly. Now, where did you get your leads in the early days for things to do? Even when, uh, when you were at camel every day, there was, there was something we, we went, uh, sometimes you took me with you and we went to like, uh, uh, a light and uh, not light and motion. What, uh, what's the uh, uh, the um, uh, it, it was um, it was like a movie studio uh, in San Francisco. Uh, it was on the second floor. Uh, uh, a light and it was uh, was what? it Lucas's thing? Uh, what was Lucas's thing well, called? Industrial light and magic. That's it. That's it. Well, I only went out there a couple of times. Well, you took me. I took you to Industrial Light and Magic. You mean, yeah. mean? Did I take you out to Skywalker Ranch? No, no, uh, well, no. But you once took me to a uh, a storage facility where they had all the models uh, from uh, Star Wars. I don't remember yeah. that. And they were outside. No, well, that they, that was Industrial Light and Magic. It was called Kerner Optical. It the was time. in San Rafael. Yeah, but it was it, they 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 named it Kerner Optical, so yeah. that nobody would know what was going on inside. Yeah, and in the backyard, in the back parking right. lot, they had all these things. This is where they blew up all the stuff, you know, for right. the pictures and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, also we uh, down in the Mission or or just south of Market. Uh, one day we went. There was an uh, there was a light and magic thing there where uh, they had all these banks of, um, uh, of 35 millimeter projectors and they were set up with uh, these reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders to do the dissolves and they had a video recorder. I don't remember and, any of that. Uh, well, yeah, I remember. You didn't do it with me. <laughs> yeah, I did it with you. Yeah, I, I would never have gotten into a place like that. If, if it was a bunch of video recorders, but then there were motion picture projectors, and it, there was a hallway, and they had a video recorder at the end of the hallway, and then they had four banks of of thirty five millimeter carousel projectors. You, 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 I'm either I've I've forgotten it, or you I, imagined it. One no, or the I was other. so yeah. impressed with this. Uh, and and uh, this was industrial light and magic, uh, and it was it was on the second floor. They were really nice. On the second it, floor it was, of what? Where? Uh, this building that was on like Howard or Folsom, uh, one of the streets that you know went from left to right. I don't know anything like that. Wow. 
you know well you know that means that you can have all these wonderful experiences again and it'll be like the first time it ever happened well yes of course <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said the best thing about getting Alzheimer's is all the new people you get to meet every day. Yeah, exactly. You know, so. Exactly. But, uh, well, now that, uh, you know, time has passed, do you have any regrets? Anything that you wish uh, you didn't do? Oh, of course, I think we all have regrets of things we didn't get around to or opportunities that we passed up. Yeah. You know, if if we don't have that, then we didn't have much of a life. Yeah. Can you think of any that, uh, you know, have... Uh, well, you, you know, see, the thing uh -huh. is, I could say that I uh, often regret not having taken a job with, uh, with Mel Carmazan in Washington, D.C., or actually right w -J -F -K. outside... WJFK. WJFK, right. Uh, I turned that down at the last minute. He wanted... He was the guy who was responsible for the success of Howard Stern. Yeah. And he wanted me to come in and do afternoons, and they were going to syndicate me and everything. And at the last minute, I just couldn't. I could walk away from my contract at uh, yeah. Live One Hundred Five, at uh, yeah, Live One Hundred Five, but I felt I would be letting people down, and so I didn't do it. But I wish I had done it. But then again, see, we don't know what the future would have held in store for me. You sure. know, I could have gone there. It could have been a flop, and then I was I'd be out of a job, and my life would take a whole different course. Yeah. Uh, instead, I stayed in San Francisco a few more years. You know, than I was supposed to stay there, and uh, uh, you know, I mean, life life went the way it went. You know, and I don't have that many regrets. You know, um, I. Uh, um, oh, I, I don't know. I, there, there are things, but I don't want to get into them because it would be, it would seem bitter on my part. Well, bitter is good. You, you know. <laughs> uh, it, well, you, you can look at it as bitter, mm -hmm. or you can look at it as it was a learning experience. And every one of these experiences. No, well, this isn't a learning experience. Another, yeah. Uh, no. This is somebody who stole my act. Oh, was that the guy? Oh, uh, was that the guy in San Francisco that uh, got hired for your spot? No. No. Oh. He failed on his own level. Yeah. No. No. Oh. No. Well, Somebody uh, who lock, stock, and barrel stole my act. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's... And was happened. eminently successful with it. Really? Yes. So... Um, he did you steal his act? <laughs> no, but he claimed that I did. Really? Yes. And how okay. could he? I was older than he was. Yeah. You know? He had listened to me growing up. Yeah. You know? And uh, the, there were various components to my career. There was the radio side. Then there was also like the Midnight Blue thing with the TV and sure. stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, this guy took all these various aspects of my career and melded them together. Yeah, well, uh, Howard, huh? Who? Is it Howard? Yeah, I guess that was his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that that's that's unfortunate, but you know they say. I, I think the only thing I think the only thing that I got resentful about wasn't you know when people steal from you, you go great, go ahead, steal from me. You know, I, you can come up, you can steal from me, and I can mm -hmm. come up with 10 more ideas. All well, right? Isn't that the, the highest form of flattery? Well, that's it's, the other thing. Is yeah. You look upon it as flattery. Up to a point, but when the person starts telling the world, because he has a larger megaphone than you do, yeah. that I stole from him. Yeah. Well, then it comes down to, hey, so you're the guy that, that, that stole from Howard Stern, huh? <laughs> oh yeah because no, he's I, got the megaphone and i don't or the larger megaphone yeah and uh hey you know you're you're a lot like howard stern no howard stern's a lot like me yeah well that, that people would have to know you to know and i uh, might say he eminent was eminently more successful than i was yeah you know but to deny the people that influenced you i i never 
denied anybody who influenced me or that I might have stolen a little bit of my act from because I'm a combination of a whole bunch of different people. Well, everybody's a combination of the experiences that they've had. Well, no, not the experiences. When it comes to this kind of thing, you are the sum total of everybody that ever influenced you. You got a little bit from this guy and a little bit from that guy and a little bit from this guy and a little bit from that guy. I mean, my whole my whole persona, the beginnings of it were with a guy named Don Sherwood in San Francisco, who I absolutely idolized. I mean, when I moved to San Francisco, it was 74 Mm -hmm. and Don Sherwood, I think, was still around and he was pitching. He was he he was a. he did a lot of commercials no, for radio. No, uh, no, no, no. For products? No. There was a guy by the name of Don Sherwood something or another. Oh, really? Yeah. There was an imitation Don Sherwood? There was somebody that was imitating Don there, Sherwood? There was, I think it was Don Down Sherwood. Down to his name? Don Sherwood Tennis or something like that. I can't remember now. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There's a, there was a Don Sherwood Tennis World. Yeah, Don Sherwood and, Tennis World. Yeah. Right. I, I I knew the guy. Had nothing to do with Don Sherwood. Golf and tennis. It yes, was uh, it golf had, and tennis. It had nothing to do with Don Sherwood. Actually, I put floor covering in the guy's house. The son uh, of the guy that owned that. Yeah. Now you know, I if I was one. starting a thing like golf and tennis, and my name was Don Sherwood, I would change the name of the place because there already was a Don Sherwood, who was yeah. so eminently well known in San Francisco. I mean. You drive around San Francisco, you didn't have to have a radio to hear him. The yeah, sound was coming from everywhere. That's how many people were listening to him. Wow. When did he stop uh, broadcasting in, in the Bay Area? I really don't know exactly because I left the Bay Area at the t- uh, during that period of time. But he was a KSFO. And they, left. they became program director of KSFO and they got hated for it. I mean, a whole yeah. bunch of things. But he finally, you know... Well, you were at KSFO in a, in a way. Uh, 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 the CNET radio was KSFO. No, it wasn't. No. Uh, 610, I think. No. No. Yeah. No. And no, uh, no, there's no, two no, guys. No, 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 it was not. It was no, 910 it to begin with. It was 910. 910. Oh, and so maybe it was 910. 910. 910. Yeah. Uh, KNBR, I think, is 610. But uh, yeah, no, 910. 610 is KSFO. 710 then, or 810 right. is KGO. KGO. Yeah, this there was, was some, 910. Is, uh, Getty and Armstrong. Armstrong and Getty. Oh, they're they, terrible. They were the worst. I know. They moved into your spot at the time slot when it went from CNET to KSFO. No, no. Here, here, let me let me let me give you a little history. All right. Do you I'll know take... who replaced me on CNET when I left and did the mornings there? Uh, they they got a seal. No, the no, well, person who replaced him was named Alex Bennett. How, how was that? Oh, happened. oh, that's right. They hired you back. No, they, it's not. They didn't hire me back. What happened was CNET was a radio station for a short amount of time. It was called LMA, and what they do is they pay the person who owns the channel to rent it. Okay? Right. So they rented it. It didn't work for them. I, I, they got rid of me, and then they closed the whole thing down. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, a friend of mine, Ed Cramp, who I used to work with Live 105, was my general manager, asked me if I could come in and do him a favor and take the morning slot and see if I could do anything with it. And he was going to promise that anything was going to happen. But could I stay? So when they immediately went off the air, that following Monday, I was on that channel again. So I replaced myself, okay, yeah. basically, in essence. But there was a time when you left, and then this Armstrong and Getty crew came in and started doing... Well, the, what, it was, you know, what it was is that, that uh, Clear Channel, which was the, the people yeah. then, they're now called... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Gabnet, I no, think. No, they, they're now called iHeart Radio. Yeah, but they decided they they wanted to run that station really cheap, and this was a show that was coming out of Sacramento. It was on in Sacramento, mm-hmm. and they simply simulcasted yeah. it. Right. Yeah, and these guys have been these guys are still working Sacramento, and I have no idea how because they're two of the most untalented human beings on the face of the planet. Well, uh, I decided that I wanted to cut all of these um, 
things that I, you know, subscriptions. I'm, I'm trying to reduce subscriptions. They say this is this is a smart thing to do in the few in the economy that's coming. Mm -hmm. So I cut the uh, serious subscription. Mm -hmm. You know, five bucks a month, and you know, and and I got to listen to Fox News. So I, I cut it, and uh, now uh, in the morning on the way to work, guess who I have to listen to? Armstrong and Getty. Well, are they still on in San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. Uh, KSFO. No, they're not. Yeah, I listened to them this no, they're morning. They're on 910. They're not on KSFO. That is KSFO, isn't no, it? No, it isn't. KSFO is 560. Boy, you're you're mixed up. Okay, well, which one is 910? God, you're confusing me. What? 910 yeah. used to be, I think it was CNN. called, no, it was called, um, it had another name. I think it was KNEW or something like that. Yeah. Uh, they they had guys like Michael Savage, I think, at one time, and uh, it was a, a very right wing uh, station. Well, Michael Savage was on KSFO. All right, then that's what I was listening to, and Armstrong and Getty is on. Do you think anybody cares about what we're talking about here? Oh, no. Okay. So back to your bucket list. <laughs> um, the. Uh, do you have? Uh, do you want to make a plan for the next ten or fifteen years? You know, while you're still healthy enough to really uh, accomplish. Well, you uh, see, here the problem with my age is okay mm -hmm. that I have no idea how long I'm going to live. So yeah. I don't know two things: how much money should I spend? Yeah. See, because God forbid I I I I should blow all my money. Uh, by the time I'm 85, figuring I'm going to be dead by then, and I mm -hmm. live to be 100, okay? Yeah. And then I don't have any money. Okay. Well, if you plan to live to be 100, uh, how, how, what I, know, what how I loved should you was, spend a well, year? Bubbles used to say, wouldn't it be great if we knew uh, what, um, uh, what day we were going to die? What day we were going to die, but not the year. Well, I understand that Bubbles had a way of predicting uh, when yeah. someone was going to die. Well, no, he there was this thing he saw on, online. It was a yeah. mathematical thing he threw. The Marjorie went and did it, and she should be dead by now, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, I, yeah. I get it. The, um, so, uh, you know, because I'm looking at it. I'm going to be 69, but longevity doesn't really run in my family on the men's side. My father was 44 when he died. Now, my mother's 94. She was 94 this month. Mm -hmm. And she's in fantastic health. You would think she's 75. Uh, yeah, well, she, I'm 83, and I'm in terrible health. Yeah, well, she's always Do I taking, look sick? Yeah. yeah I, I do look sick. No, not really. Uh, just um, uh, who, who's uh, uh, Jackie Coogan? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I know. I know you try to emulate him and steal his act, but you know, <laughs> Jackie Coogan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's yeah. the thing: that's terrible in life is that uh, people they don't know who Jackie Coogan was. He played Uncle Fester on The Adams Family. You go, oh, that guy. But yeah. no, he had a bigger career. Right. He starred. He starred with Charlie Chaplin mm -hmm. in the Kid, yeah. and he was. If you go and see that movie, the most adorable child you've ever seen in your life. And I use Jackie Coogan as a perfect example of what morning did this guy wake up and look in the mirror and say, "What the fuck happened to me?" But you know, when we look in the mirror. What we see is what we feel we are. I, I, don't, I don't feel old. I don't feel um, uh, broken down. Don't worry. I, don't worry. That time will come. I, I know. I, that time will come. I, I think it was only recently, a couple of years ago, I looked at myself in the mirror and said, oh, this is not a good thing. You well, know. I, I had to have some uh, photographs taken for passport Type photographs mm -hmm. and I and I looked at these photographs and I said I look like that you know I, I I couldn't I couldn't believe it you know my my hair doesn't show up much whatever I've got left yeah. because it's yeah. silver mm -hmm. and uh you know I I couldn't believe uh how old I looked in those photos wow uh, you know. wow 
you know. Son of a bitch. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I just feel I, I'm looking. Gee, I'm a little bit. Do I look like I'm? Uh, I guess it doesn't look there like I'm off. I feel like I'm a little out of sync here. No, no, your the sync is perfect. Well, at least on, on the video, on, though, I don't on, think so. I think I'm yeah, a little out of sync. I, I don't know what it looks like on YouTube, but yeah. on uh, that's my whole life, folks. Is I'm a little out of sync. That's what yeah. the problem is. Well, at least you're out of the bathtub, uh, you know, unlike that uh, that guy that calls and you know, from the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. Bathtub yeah. Brian, that's it. But anyway, we we had a, a uh, what, what a couple of things. What was was happening in the last couple of days? That were well, you, of, did you go uh, celebrate your birthday? Yes, we did. We went to a restaurant, very nice restaurant, and uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think I uh, uh, I, I listened to the. Um, uh, your Monday show for a few minutes, and you had mac and cheese. There, no, there was uh, there was one of the components of it was, uh -huh. was mac, I ordered this mac and cheese. I figured out oh, what the hell. I don't care if I get fat or whatever. So I ordered the yes. mac this mac and cheese truffle with truffles. Yeah, and it was incredible. It was just wow. absolutely to die for. Well, you know how they get truffles, right? Pigs, yeah. Pigs have to root for them. Yeah, and it, it, you know, but I mean, I I found that was just you know it was wonderful, just terrific. But yeah. you know, it, it was just a nice little birthday uh, 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 dinner. I mm -hmm. take her out to dinner on her birthday. You know, yeah. do you get the free dessert? Oh yeah. Well, I ordered the the, the dessert, and uh, it was uh, a. Uh, um, they, they bring it with this sparkler or something. Oh, oh this yeah. This big fire, this fireworks display coming out yeah. of it. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah, so. Anyway, well, so. Yeah, it's nice that you can mark that well, day. Well, when I took her for her birthday, they had the sparkler thing. They had, it's like a, it's like, a, like a little flare they do. Yeah. And it, you know. And, and Marjorie said, well, I, they said, uh, I said, uh, I told them that it was your birthday. And they said, well, do you want us to do the birthday thing for him? And she, said, and she said, you better not. And then yeah. she said it to me, and I said, no, I want the birthday thing. I want that <laughs> flair, because I didn't get a photograph of it when you, it was your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a, I don't have my phone here. It's in the other room, but I, I got, uh, uh, you know. You got uh, a sprinkler, or a sparkler. A sparkler, yeah, absolutely. Oh. You know, so well, that's very nice. It's very nice. And, uh, hey, are you getting that uh, cold Arctic blast that uh, is supposed to be uh, uh, right? Coast? Well, it's it's well, it's it's coming. It's going to be thirty tonight, yeah. uh, and uh, over the weekend, it's supposed to go down quite badly. Yeah, you know, but we don't plan yeah. to go out, so you know. Yeah, screw no, that. I, you know, I get it. Why don't we bring everybody in here? Okay. Let me All right, here. they can wish you a happy birthday too. Yes, let me let me admit Since this them. is the last show of the year and your mm -hmm. birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have planned to go out, so we you know. All right, oh. that's uh, that's mm -hmm. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff, show us a little more of your face, would you please? Sure, I brought it with me. Thank you, right there, right <laughs> there. There, he brought his face with him. Hi, everybody. Hello. Alan and hello, uh, uh, Brian and hello, uh, 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 Charlie. How you doing, Hi. Charlie? Counting in binary is as easy as zero one ten eleven. <laughs> zero one one zero one one. Uh, There's too much of Phil's incorrectness. Yeah, let's do fact check on Phil. I, mean, I think Alan has the list. We discussed it before we came oh, on. Yeah. So. Oh, it wait a minute. Half hour. Don, Don Sherwood Golf and Tennis World. Yeah. Yeah. Is the name of it. By the way, Phil didn't end up with a sparkler on his ice cream. He ended up with a sparkler on his frozen insure because he's getting so old. <laughs> <laughs> and your number one bucket list thing, Alex, should be. Losing your memory of the first 30 years of Phil in your life. <laughs> he already did. <laughs> KNBR is 680. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? 680. What's 910? 
I don't know. You nine, kept ramping up number nine, that could nine ten. But nine ten, I think, was KBL. I wasn't on nine ten. I was on nine uh, sixty, I think, which was K N E W. Bill's on nine one one. Yeah, but anyway, I'm. It, it's. I don't like to go back and look at that stuff. It's depressing, you know. Yeah. Uh, everybody's like that, though. What? Everybody's like that. Well, you yeah. know, I mean, everybody was younger and had certain lifestyle. And, the worst. And all the worst stuff. thing about achieving the fame that I achieved, which was not incredible, but it was substantial in the Bay Area. The terrible part about that is, eventually, one day, you won't be. So, you know, it all goes away after a while. AKSF? What? KKSF they they change they change the uh they change the call letters at oh. one point, yeah. Well, pay attention, we're on the show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do your oh. homework before the show, like Alan and I do. Yep. Well, oh, we, five sixty is uh KSFO. That's oh, what right. I said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and well, which which one is uh, okay? Why don't we talk about something that everybody else is interested in. Yeah. Well, everybody here likes radio. Yeah, like let let's Step talk down. about Trump's taxes. Yeah, he um, he paid uh, four million dollars uh, one year. No, he didn't. Yeah, and no, he, uh, didn't, he pay, didn't pay. Wait a minute, he didn't pay, pay four. He lost where did you where did you get four million dollars? Because uh, uh, he had an income of no, twenty four no, I, million. I, 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 I saw the whole thing. It never went over about one point two million. Six years of taxes. Four of them he had a loss. Two of them he made money. Yes, he made money. But is that successful? Yeah. Is because he successful? You have expenses. And, oh, oh, you know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Just because yeah, the yeah. in year, 2020, in 2020, he paid zero dollars in taxes, Phil. Well, he was working for the government and he didn't take a salary. You know, Biden is taking his Social Security, but Trump said, don't pay me my salary as a president. He didn't take any money. Uh, I think he took one dollar. <laughs> One dollar a year. He got more yeah, money he, by having them stay at his hotels and shit that he didn't need yeah. to take a salary. He, and, well, oh, he don't need to take a salary. It's yeah, a it's, it, isn't it it's interesting? In 2016 and 2017, Jeez. he oh, hardly man. paid any taxes at all. Okay. Well, had, then in the next lost. two years, he did, but that was after he just opened that uh, hotel in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Well, he had a he had a loss. He doesn't see that money directly from the hotel. It's a corporation. What trickles down to him as salary is is something different than what and, you and get. And he can set the salary anywhere he wants to, can't he, Phil? Yeah. Yes, Phil. he sort of can. Don't try and to Phil. excuse this, Phil. I mean, to begin with, if, he if, said he was he couldn't show his taxes because he was under audit. And the right. fact of the matter was he wasn't under audit. Bill, uh, how many times? Now. <laughs> hmm? What, Brian? Yes, Brian. Bill, how many times did he ask you for money, for donations? Because it's a witch hunt. How a many times? times? A lot of so times. That, you don't take that as salary? No, it wasn't going to him. It's going to the uh, the campaign. Oh, to real really? Are you sure of that? You, you no. are delusional. And what happens? Yeah. And what, happens what happens after the election is over to all that money? Yeah, exactly. Where he does get, that go? He gets, they don't get to keep yeah, it. They get to keep it. Yes, they yes, do. They, oh do. They, get to, they get to give it to other candidates. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. don't. Who? Who? Who give I'm going to give all that money to. Candidate. Yeah, they, they give it to no, other candidates. No, he did. Ooh, he did all that as a, for a, as a way of making money. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, if it was a way of making money, how come? Phil, he Phil why don't you just money? admit this guy was a shit businessman? Look, he wasn't. Do you think he's worth a billion dollars, Phil? Oh, I'm sure he is. Oh, because the properties <laughs> that he owns, and many of them are free and clear, according to Forbes magazine, uh, to are worth are worth uh, billions of dollars. Probably Who wanted to talk million. about Trump? Can we talk about Zelensky's speech, please? Let's get off yeah. this. Oh, Zelensky gave uh, Biden a medal uh, that was. No, I said speech, speech, speech. Ah, he got what a did you think about his speech? I didn't hear the speech, but I understand. He got a <laughs> oh my and God. he got Patriot missiles. 
but uh, uh, Putin says that he's going to send some sort of nuclear missile that's got a name like the Satan II. Well, listen, I'm sure that Putin, even on his worst day, can pronounce nuclear better than you can. <laughs> yeah, he's got the button. <laughs> Tony, you got to clean your camera. See it? Oh, it is just, it's filthy. Yeah, I, it, How do you, you get so dirty, your camera's so dirty? This, this is my old laptop. I put Linux on it, so maybe the camera's not hey, that strong. Get a tissue. And just get a tissue. Yeah, your tissue's oh, probably right now, next to your computer. <laughs> what? You could use what? the old drape behind you. You know, he has, <laughs> he has Vaseline on his hands when he touches that camera. <laughs> No, this is an old laptop. I'll put another operating system in just work. I don't think it's going to be that clear. Right? Uh, how much clearer is that, guys? It's That's a good. lot clearer. Yeah. Is it better? Uh, it's okay. Uh, I think it's, it's probably glowing. one of those 440 cameras. Database. He's glowing from his chemo. Yeah. They, I was hearing Christmas songs today in the room. Bing Crosby. <laughs> that was the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I had... With if you have cancer, I don't know if the best thing to listen to is Christmas music. Well, they had serious. Uh, I in think the room funeral dirges might be a good idea. <laughs> I heard. I didn't realize that, that they had the serious channel on, so they had the holiday music. In 1963, what's the song? It's the most. Oh, Andy Williams. That song I like. 1963 it came out and it debuted. I like Andy Williams. I, I, he sings pretty good for Christmas songs, at least. He's I think we should dirt. just all be quiet and let Tony just do a monologue for the next hour. <laughs> you don't fall asleep. I can go to sleep right now. I'll put you right out. I got the cake made, so when I visit Checky, I'll bring over a piece for you. I just finished it. The what? The rum cake. He doesn't drink. No, I, I had to soak the layers, each one. It's three layers. And that sounds like some kind of sexual in. euphemism. Soak the layers. Well, you got to soak it with rum. Yeah, I'm going to go soak it. the layer. <laughs> <laughs> I used like a half a bottle of rum, me and my sister. We were doing it. Yeah, well, I used to ply them with champagne. I guess you got, you're just using rum. Well, I melted the chocolate. It, it took about, it took a while, but it's fun to make. Yeah. Hey, Tony, yeah. get out of my room. Yeah, I mean, come on. What do you, what do you you're in my house. I won't charge you any room and blood. What do you want for breakfast? I got I got a lot of food. Ham and again. eggs. That's his favorite thing. Oh really? All right. Yeah. Where's I my rum cake? It's well, it's around the corner. I left it by my sister. I can get it. But she's chilling. Yeah, likely story. I don't believe that there was a rum cake. Yeah, there is. I'm yeah. telling you. Okay. You, want, you want to see my messenger? You see every. Yeah, thing? I got that thing going, man. She I had it decide from my mother's old recipe. Alex, you had to see how she wrote. He this was thing. so frightened he, of me, Tony. Yeah, yeah. That he didn't even send me a birthday greeting on Facebook. I Ooh, did. I wish you a happy birthday. See, I couldn't tell. On your page. You were one of the... Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't do it in your message. You told me not to, though. That's yeah, why I he know. said he, you're so afraid of him. You're one yeah, of like, yeah. the 400. I still got your number in my, in my Apple phone. I was going to tell Brian, I won't call him from my room. <laughs> Thanks for the phone call today, Brian. That was nice of you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Tony. Just remember yes. who, who loves you on this panel. Yeah, Brian does. That's oh, Charlie what, does too. He always messages me now. And Alan, I can't forget Alan. <clears throat> yes. So, what did you guys think of Zelensky's speech? Yeah, nothing about me, please. How much? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was fine. You know, um, uh, it, you know. I mean, uh, I, it, he he came to the United States to fundraise, basically. Yeah. You know. Sort sort of weird to do it there, though. You know, when everyone starts clapping right when he says something, you know, oh my people are dying, but we're staying strong. Yay! And everybody claps. You know, it's sort of weird. In yeah, that but set. he's used to that. Yeah. You know, he's a performer. Yeah, yeah, I know. But still, it seemed weird. Oh, my people are dying. I'm surprised he didn't do oh. one-liners. You know, <laughs> well, he did. He said, he said, and do we have we had do we have enough money? Oh, not really. Or not, <laughs> not, yeah, he said not really. And everybody laughed. And I don't know yeah. if that was yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I found the uh, the uh, thing I sent you, Alex. I said, thoughts and prayers, happy birthday. Oh, I, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts <laughs> and prayers. Nice. Yeah, I know that. That's one of your favorite uh, One of greetings. my favorite oh, thoughts yeah. and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. House is falling down. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, well, I'd go around the panel. Charlie, what did you do on my birthday? <laughs> 
Oh, that's the Cowboys blowing incredible. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a home. And and what did you do on my birthday, Brian? I watched the Eagles win, and I watched the Raiders pull off some weird Wrong. one, and then Dallas choke. <laughs> so my day was very well spent. <laughs> Brian was beaming. Oh, He's boy. Beaming. Oh, I just hurt my hernia from sneezing. Oh, when I sneeze, my hernia goes bad. So. You know, I've got one of those, too. What? I a hernia. And I just talked to the surgery department, and they said, well, you know, if it gets to the point where you can't push it back in, then call us. Yeah, I can always really? push it back in. So, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, you yeah. You want to be careful with surgery there, Phil. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. I don't want surgery. It's, it's being done by an ophthalmologist. <laughs> it, Kaiser, it's, you're lucky it's being done by a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, Ram Paul. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm. and there. You know, I never can figure out why Kevin's picture gets streaky like that at the very beginning, oh, and then it disappears. Out, yeah. Then it disappears. Like film going old film going across. Hey, the tic TikTok filter. It's a it's, TikTok uh, filter. Oh, it's, look at the blinds in the background. Yeah. Santa on his sleigh, and it has movement in the background. I like the blinds in the background are moving like yeah. there's a wind. Yeah. Uh, but uh, right. anyways, well, so, <clears throat> you know. Oh, no. no, no I'm not sniffling happy. here because I sneezed. There's <laughs> something in this apartment. I mean, it's like allergy stuff, you know. I'm and telling I, you, there's dead people in the walls there. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Hey, we had a killer earthquake in uh, the yeah in six four. Yeah, I saw that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not being talked about that much, but there's a lot of damage up there in the six point six four. Point four. Yeah. yeah. This was not that populated up there, but the roads are uh, What's all it? the cannabis stores have collapsed. <laughs> By the way, our first cannabis mm -hmm. store is going to open up next week here in New York City. <laughs> That's wow. right. I don't know where first it is. Floor of your building. What? No. What? First floor of your building. Yeah, first floor of my <laughs> building. Now, uh, who owns it? Uh, I, I understand that what's uh, that fighter? Uh, 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 Don Tyson. Sherwood. No, no, no. The, uh, Tyson. 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 My, uh, Mike Tyson. Oh. He's in the cannabis business. I know that. Yep. And uh, <laughs> I think his partner is Holofield, right? In yes. It is. Well, no, he has a Holofield. He has a Holofield uh, product. Oh, called if called Holofield bites, and they're in the shape of an ear. <laughs> Mike bites. Now, Mike, Mike bites. bites. Mike bites. Mike bites. Yeah. Mike bites, they, yeah. Now they said that you said that they were giving these cannabis stores to people that were in jail. Well, Mike Tyson went to jail. No, not, yes. for, not but they didn't go for pot. No. He went for the wife hitting. He didn't, the Robin he, yeah, he didn't go for pot. It's well, people, who, it's people who spend time in prison oh, in for marijuana prison. or for marijuana sales or arrests or whatever that they were going to give the first uh, uh, preference preference yeah. on uh, being able to open these things up. There's been some kind of argument about that. People are yelling through well, that's unfair. What do you mean it's unfair? To begin with, if I'm going to buy pot, I want to buy it from somebody who knows how to sell it. Okay. Can I ask you a question, Alex, on that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be able to buy pot online? Like, sell it? Are they allowed to sell it online? Well, no, because you, it, it, the, the problem is, is that not every state it's not illegal in. Every oh, state. I can. I see what you're saying. Once, if they make a national law making it legal, that's possible. You know, but the, I can see it, them selling on eBay and Amazon. Pot to the then house. again, you can't buy cigarettes by mail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Oh, hey, okay. Tony, pot and comic books. You, you got yeah. a I was thinking of everybody who spends $150 a month, throw them a joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes, Adam. Yeah, I'm high and buy some I, I can start a pot store. I sold pot during the 1980s. I give my mother's pot. Pots <laughs> no, but you had to get arrested oh. for it and thrown in oh, jail. Really? Oh, sorry. I yeah. was doing the arresting. Oh, you, you want to hear something? The interesting something. thing. Wait a minute, Tony. I'm talking. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm just teasing. Hey, um, the interesting thing is in the 1980s, a joint was still a felony in California. Oh, yeah. Felony. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Our times were. changed. Yeah. In New York, too. Yeah, listen things. to this. I was watching a documentary on the information age in, in the year 1980 in review, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize it. McCartney got arrested 
for pot. He was in jail, in I think it was in China for nine days or something, or Singapore. Ooh. Oh yes, it, no, it was in Singapore. I was like, I just finished watching it. Yeah, I was going to tell you that. It was in Did Singapore you know or maybe Hong Kong? I can't remember. But something, something like that. Yeah, he was Did in there for yeah. Marijuana. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The guy that soon to speak be the speaker of the house. No. Not uh, that McCarthy. Not I was thinking the, the same Kevin thing. McCarthy. McCarthy. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Oh, oh sorry. Thing at four, they would have caned him. It, yeah. Well, uh, uh, Lennon was arrested for marijuana. Yeah, he was okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was watching the year in view, nineteen eighty. They were showing like the whole year each month. <clears throat> so I mean, so yeah, so yeah, it, that was back then. Yeah, it's you know, but but what they've done is they just said all these people have been you know the people who have spent time in jail for selling marijuana for marijuana sales uh, are are the first people to get a uh, a thing you know permit now this guy's Sean Gorey I've seen him uh, I saw him up there before yeah. uh, I'm gonna put him on but if we don't see him immediately I'm gonna hang up on him okay you get the dirty video let's then? see here. Yeah, we see I, I see is, is he there? Hello? Are Gorey, you, you know, can't you? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Sean Gorey. Hello, Sean. How are you? I think you're going to get Sean, bombed. can you hear us? His audio is still connected. Turn on your audio, Sean. He's muted. There we, no, he's still uh, You're muted. It says mute. He's smiling. He can hear us. Say something funny, Phil. Okay, are you, can you, are hey, you there, Sean? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I told you you were going to get photo bombed. It's my urologist. <laughs> Gory. Let me see here. I, I worry. Uh, That's how I was when I got my biopsy. Yeah, you took it <laughs> off too quick. Phil was collecting these pictures. Uh, three, 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 times, three times the fun from last time, I guess, huh? Yeah, uh, I, I didn't trust the name when I first saw it earlier. And, yeah, Corey. Uh, you know, uh, you know. Think about it. Yeah, Corey. Not, but, but at least it wasn't hurt. it wasn't somebody humping somebody. So you know, <laughs> so, so if they, well, that would have been better. Yeah, they, yeah, it would have been yeah. better. Not. <laughs> I'm. I, hey, listen, I got. I got to ask you guys something. Rob. Should yeah. I get really festive with this show? Yeah, I mean, you like, know, like, something look festive. Your. You're on the Gabnet page. I saw the thing. Yeah. Oh well, that no. yeah, there, there, I do that. It was very yeah, first. yeah. Uh, let me see here. Oh, it's I yeah. I, I, you know, Br Brian just drove over me. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's you got a little Brian's seat, old car. I, I know a good lawyer. Hold on. <laughs> that day I changed my Cadillac. That cha that day I changed my opinion about Bill. Said he was a nice guy. Actually, <laughs> how's this? <laughs> Take it back. Oh, there hey, you go. We, we've gotten together before. You you know, we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wax off, <laughs> wax right off. <laughs> Very nice. Huh? So that's well, nice. If if Mary and Barry, uh, if, if they legalized the, uh, uh, cocaine, he could be the first one to get a license in Washington. Uh, that was crack. <laughs> you oh, got crack? Cut Sorry. It. I don't know my drugs. He got elected when he was in jail as mayor of Washington, <laughs> D.C. He was in jail. He got reelected after he got crack. out. That's he got reelected after he got out. I'm he got, he got, he got reelected while he was in jail. This guy's story reminds me of Donald Trump. We get a criminal from 2016. How do they vote for a guy who's incarcerated? I don't get it. It's Chris Washington, Rock has a good, good. Chris Rock has I mean, a good. How do you do it? Uh, well, they well, couldn't we, tell the difference well, can, between the politics. Can you let Brian and say what he was going to say? <laughs> Brian, yeah. what were you going to say? I just say Chris Rock has a good. Has a good. Uh, story about that whole thing pretty funny what about it just about about mary and barry getting reelected. <laughs> it's crazy i don't I hear think... he's got a, i hear he's got a size 11 slap on the side of his face too chris rock all the really Wilson. i didn't know that is uh <laughs> that uh will what's his name that uh, that big i thought he i didn't think he was that big of a guy i, I don't know do they measure hands he didn't hit him with his penis eyes. okay well, well, this coming, it might be good. Important. hi kevin how you doing okay how you doing alex yeah what's new oh uh, you know same old stuff what did you do for my birthday 
Uh, I sent you a text. Yeah, and, that was very uh, nice. Thank you. I uh, don't even remember. I think I was uh, cleaning my garage. <clears throat> okay, well, that sounds like the kind of thing that people should do on my birthday. Yeah. 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 Sunday, Sunday was your birthday, right? Monday, I think. Sunday. No, Sunday, Sunday Phil. Monday. See, huh. you didn't send me anything. No wonder. I, 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 I sent it Monday. Yeah, you know. And, and it'll be delivered in a month and a half. Yeah. Jack Bishop's going to personally deliver it. Well, yeah. so Marjorie finally came up with, here's what you can get me for Christmas. Mm. Ah. Yeah. So. Uh, are you going to tell us? Or are you going to make us iPod? Like no, to me bag. Oh. oh. Those are nice. Very nice. I have a cup. I have one. And then she gave me another one of hers, old ones. They last forever. That's to me. Can't go down to one of those streets. Yeah, but that's made in China, Phil. What? What? Can't you go to one of those one of those stores you got down there in New York and get like a five dollar to me bag? The two five dollar to me bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell Lumi. you the biggest nerve I ever saw anybody ever have. The biggest cojones was in New York City on Fifth Avenue, right near Trump Tower. There is a Rolex store mm -hmm. where they sell every brand of expensive Rolex you can imagine. But you may remember that was also the period of time where you could also buy a Rolex knockoff. Mm -hmm. These and were, they were better. I, than I called. The I called. I called them Folexes. <laughs> And I never understood that. There was a guy standing in front of the Rolex store selling phony Rolexes. <laughs> no, and nobody him. arrested him. Nobody stopped no, him. That's, a, that's like a New York. Uh, every New Yorker who, who has that kind of a job, he has to be there on both sides. I'll tell you how good these phony Rolexes were. I bought one once. It was like $5, $10. Okay, fine. I got my So I start wearing my phony Rolex. And now I'm going out to dinner and people are coming up to me and saying, "You have a Rolex? Wow, that's really great." And I and then I'm with a date and she goes, "You that is a Rolex." Yeah. Awesome. Gee, do you have that much money? Uh -oh, no, and no, and I'm know. going you know, this is My not good because somebody next is going to hit me over the head and try and steal it, that. and it's steal a phony it Rolex. That's what they do out here. It's called jugging. And uh, <laughs> what they do is they follow you from a store or they follow you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but those are real Rolexes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Phil's got one of those $5 Rolexes. Uh, I, I did at one time have the $5 one, <laughs> and uh, I actually I paid 100 uh, and um, but now I've got the real one. Does it come out on occasion? So what do you I've been wearing that no, one. Well, all I, I, no, I I thought after a while I said it's really stupid people going out and buying real Rolexes because all they want is to flash it around, right? And if I've got a phony and I'm flashing it around, and everybody thinks it's yeah. really a Rolex. Uh, they only may last as well be a few months. Really? Yeah, oh, no. Them. Mine lasted a long time. Well, I was told time. what was good about them is they actually had, I can't remember what man, watch manufacturer, but it had the internal Seiko or something. Seiko. I had like a Seiko internal operation or whatever mm -hmm. thing going. And they mine lasted for years. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I didn't wear it much because I really didn't want to get heat for it, you know? Yeah. So do you think that your Movado is real? Oh, my Movado is absolutely real. Nobody copies Movados. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess they do. Uh, Penn and Teller gave it to me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. They did a deal for Movado. There's some ads or something for Movado. <clears throat> Movado, they said, how much do we have to pay you? And they said, you can just pay us off in 20 watches. That's what they and, said. And then they got 20 watches, and then they had them all engraved because they were all part of this online board that we we're on with each other called the jungle. And so one one day I get a thing in the mail and it's goddamn Movado. And I didn't know from Movado. That was nice though. Yeah, yeah. One of the like older Movados, but uh, I still have it around classic. here somewhere. Yeah. yeah, they're classic. I have a Movado, it's thin, it, it's got a 
the hour and minute hand, and that's all you can see on the damn thing. It's 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 stainless steel with dots of gold around it. It's called the museum piece, and I got it like for my birthday when I was fifty from some girlfriend, and then you know three days later she was gone. Well, and that I, is I, the I, case I, with you. Yeah, and <laughs> so was your wallet. <laughs> it was the wallet. Uh, they took my Cooney wallet. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. The best watch I've really ever owned is this Apple watch. You know? Really? I yeah, mean, yeah, it, cool. it just it does so many things. Like, it yeah, tells me tr watch, Trump's income for 19, uh, for 2018. <laughs> Trump's income for I love the technology. Yeah. But, uh, I, I wear my Apple watch for years now when I got it. <laughs> got, got the new one. And then one night, I wanted to wear one of my big, I uh, have some big other watches. I want to wear one of those one night, mm -hmm. and I go back in my drawer full of watches, and all the batteries are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been so long since I wore one of them. Wow. Well, if you get one like this, it'll last in the drawer. Whoops, can't see it. Uh, it'll last in the drawer for six months without anything. It's oh, a, no, mine were years. It's you know, an e eco drive, Citizen Eco Drive, and the sunlight, any light that hits it, it's got a. A solar panel for it. So yeah. it didn't. It didn't come across the border of Mexico, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know, okay, but... here we go. Here we go, Phil. I just found it. All right. Yeah. On his 2015 federal return, yeah, Trump yeah. and his wife declared negative income of 31.7 million dollars with a taxable taxable income of zero. Zero. Okay. Right. 2016 return declared negative income of 31.2 million dollars he keeps losing the same amount of money every year practically <laughs> with zero dollars of taxable in a ta taxable income the trumps paid 750 dollars in taxes that's uh, okay Good. you know you can't be losing money this often and still be a a, a, a big time businessman in 2000 I thought you could only lose money like the first three years or something uh, five years Five years. And I'm good at that. Two, yeah, you two thousand seven five. Every money. five years, Phil loses money. It is. It is. Uh, then you have to make it's, money it's once. And but, well, let me let me okay let me finish in, in, because I'm t showing you where you were so wrong before. All right. Next. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah. The return declared a negative income of twelve point eight million with zero in taxable income. The couple paid seven hundred fifty dollars in taxes. I paid more than that tax. myself last year, and I'm on Social Security for crying out <laughs> loud. I paid loud. more than that on my Social Security income alone. Exactly. Uh, exactly. you got to move to well, California. There's no tax. In 2018 on. return, he declared an income of $24.4 million with taxable income of $22.9 million. In that case, he paid... Ninety nine hundred ninety nine thousand four hundred and sixty six. I told you he made. No, he no, made. you said four million. Four million. Yeah. In taxes. I mean, I believe, excuse me. You, you, uh, I said he paid four million in taxes. You said and he paid four million in taxes. This is nine hundred ninety nine thousand. That's the far. Uh, well, what's what's, what's the next year? Know. The next year is two thousand nineteen. <clears throat> declared four point four million in total income. And 2.97 million in taxable income, and paid 133 thousand well, dollars. Wow, that's fair. Where's this four million, Phil? Well, it's yeah, expensive yeah. to run a jet, and it's wait, 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 wait. And the 2020 return shows a negative income of 4.69 million, with zero dollars in taxable income. The tax paid by the Trumps was zero dollars, and they claimed a refund. Yeah. Of five point four seven million dollars. Oh my God! So you look okay, at the you look so at that consecutive numbers, and there he's playing the game. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. but that's <laughs> the game. Zero 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 zero. Oh, I made money. I'll take some back. Zero 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 zero. I'll make some more. You, you know what they say, Kevin? If you don't make money one out of the five years, that it's a hobby. <laughs> Oh, well, that's and, uh, where's the which year was the four million? And I'm waiting for that, Phil. Yeah, me too. Uh, I thought it was uh, what was it, 17 or 18? Uh, Alex just told us what that was. Yeah, yeah, but he was probably getting that from the MSNBC site. <laughs> uh, I raise you five. Check the Trump site, right? I, I yeah, I saw it on uh, Drudge. 
do like that drudge still. He's still well, alive. Anyway. It's becoming anti-Trump. The report identifies oh, different areas the staff thought warranted further examination, such as documentation of nearly five hundred six thousand dollars in charitable donations claimed by the Trumps in 2019. It turns out, so it turns out, wait a minute, him. it turns out he said he paid that in cash. Cash? He loans oh. to his children. So there's nothing, there's nothing to prove he Ooh. didn't give that money. No receipts or anything. Yeah, you said there's no receipt, there's no trail. Mm. Well, so 100 Phil, million, I carry anything. that all the time. Look, the man's a crook, Phil. all right? The man's an outright crook. Who would give anything in cash unless Bill, it's the gangster? I think it's just private jets costs. Yeah, yeah. People Stop with cash, the that's, like a, that's, yeah, that's why they're math. sitting in an airport being just that's taken apart right suitcase. now. Are they yeah. really? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. the one in New York, is the 757 Trump aircraft is being taken apart in New York. I think at LaGuardia or something. Well, he tried to really? take a big loss on his on the legal action against him for a uh, Trump University a few years back. <laughs> the man has <laughs> the man is nowhere near a billionaire. Uh, and in fact may be, according to his taxes, the worst businessman of the last many years. You know, Phil, you keep the worst saying that he's, he's not had uh, his expenses while president was a hundred and twenty six point five million and write-offs over the years tied to sales uh and expenses for what expenses for what yeah uh well no for he, what phil i would have been happy for hey, that was his the, what, which which he line item shows who, who well, what employee he pay, he, what didn't pay he doesn't uh, pay for food doesn't pay for gas doesn't pay for hotel what are his expenses oh no yeah his expenses are his own hotel with security that he paid for Right. Well, uh, I'm I'm reading uh, uh, what he what he's got. Didn't he, didn't he charge back? The, didn't he charge back all that all that time that he was at Trump Tower? Say that that was his residence, so they had to charge him. And yeah. So so Phil keeps saying, <clears throat> excuse me, Phil keeps he, saying that uh, he's not guilty of all these crimes. That's well, what Al Capone tried too, but they got him on tax evasion, didn't they? Yeah, and well, he's not guilty. Yeah, now here's here's the here's the interesting part of the whole story. Forget about the fact that here's a guy who obviously played around with his tax returns, but who was running the IRS? Mm -hmm. A guy mm -hmm. that he put in the post of the head of the IRS. Yeah. You think that's why they didn't uh, audit? That's his... why they didn't audit. They were supposed to audit. They have had, by law, since the Nixon administration, the IRS was supposed to audit every tax return from the President of the United oh, really? States. The reason being that they didn't want the people to think that the President, just because he was a President, was immune from filing a tax return and that they should, uh, they should audit it. They did not audit him, okay? So, I mean, come on. There's a lot of hanky-panky hanky going on there. This has not been a good week or a month for Trump. Because also this report has been sent over to the Justice Department, who said they wanted it because they're looking very closely at everything. But the thing they're still looking at are, is that uh, stealing of government documents at Mar-a-Lago, which is probably going to get him in more trouble than anything else. I heard those guys are suing them because they use his, they use their bodies. These artists had those bodies that they photoshopped his head on those NFT cards. Oh yeah, the NFT cards. Yeah, they yeah. took an existing artwork and putting his face on them. So those people are suing him. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, that he's, guy was our president. Can dollars. you believe that guy was our president? No, I can't. No, you know. Bill still thinks he is. <laughs> How yeah. this came up? This came up on a discussion before I heard. You know, Phil, I, I, I will, I will bite my tongue or eat me, eat my, swallow my tongue, if you ever admit that maybe you made a mistake by voting for him. Well, not that you were a bad time. judge of character. No, I <laughs> thought he was a great president. What he did was great, and uh, in, uh, in losing, 
Uh, he hasn't been so gracious. What did he do? I, I, you're saying he was. I can't can think. Can you name five? You, name did five you, you know what? This is very funny. This is a very funny thing. He was doing the NFTs, and mm -hmm. his uh, his political, uh, what do they call them? Advisors, counselors, mm -hmm. told him that he really shouldn't do the NFTs and should think more since he's already said he's running for president to come out with policy statements. And then they said the problem was that he didn't have any policies. No. <laughs> he was incapable of coming out with policy he statements. He didn't know what they are. Yeah, because he has no policies. Because you know? the, print, the print is this big on his paper and he can't write all that stuff on those papers. Yeah. Uh, you know, he doesn't have Kelly Conway right now and, and a number of other people that Hope were gets. that Boy, surrounded they, they himself they and they surrounded <laughs> With, that were very talented. Well, some of people. these people like getting paid, you know? They like getting paid. They like their checks to cash. Yeah. Bill, he told he told that guy on Entertainment Tonight you can grab women by the pussy. Come uh, on. That was, oh, yeah. That was him. Before. That should have sunk him right there and there. Before he was, that was he him. Was, yeah, well, It doesn't on. matter how long people. ago it was. People are getting canceled from... 10, 20 years ago, what's the yep. case? Because there were morons like you, Phil, who wouldn't admit that that was improper of him to say. Yeah, it was improper. It's just that uh, I think it was taken, you know. Out of context? Thought, no. no the guy what was out of context about <laughs> well, it, Phil? Well, you know that every mic is a live mic. And, uh, you know, he should have been more careful. Well, uh, no one should have known been. better than him, a guy who was in television for how many years? Yeah, he should have known. But <laughs> Bill, Bill, just because he said it, that means he thinks it. So do you think a president who thinks those kind of things should be a president? I think, think that a, a lot of people that? think that. He, not the answer. They're not president. Isn't it, but they're not, the pres world. they're not president, and they're not being women, and they're not being held up as a object of uh, of of, uh, of influence, pr of influence uh, to children and kids everywhere, and well, families everywhere. Players. He's not. They're they're not president of the United States, Phil. Hey, no, Phil, when you go to baseball players, people not anymore. Phil, he's not United a baseball States. player. He was president. Are you ready, for Phil? Let me explain. <laughs> Do you know what the president of the United States is? The a leader human of being. the free world. A, a human being. And how about the leader of the free mistakes. world? That's a good one too. Hey, people make mistakes. Hey, Biden wanted. Right. Yeah, but not every hour the on the people. hour, Phil. <laughs> right. hey, yeah. Phil, when you go to your carpet conventions, do you say that stuff? No, because I don't believe that stuff. <laughs> okay. And man. why don't you believe that stuff, Phil? It's probably because you're because fairly decent me. human. You're a decent human being. Well, you did so, you. So oh, nice no, 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 no. You're giving them too much credit, Alex. <laughs> No, I think Phil's a decent human being. Yeah, he's a decent guy right now. I think he's a moron, but he's a decent human being. Yeah, well, you let him in the apartment. Come on, he had to be yeah, decent. Wait, wait, wait till DeSantis runs. What is he still doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm, hmm. wait, I'm waiting yeah. for that. What, he's not going to pay taxes either? Yeah, he'll, he'll, you, you know learning. why you don't have anything to do now is because you don't have Trump to kick around. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, what do you think we're doing right now? We're, we, we're so happy. I'm so happy that he's finally been shown up to not be the billionaire that everybody thought he was. Just and I think he didn't insane. make any money doesn't mean he's not a billionaire. No, if he, if he, if he can't cash a check right, no, for a billion dollars, then he ain't got a billion dollars. Million more than he made, you know. But, you know what's – but, Phil, he's got to feel the heat because you know what would bother me? as a regular citizen, how do these banks just sign off on loans to this guy? Well, that's they, the they, other they, thing. He, he has it. property. That's a, assets. Assets. He, well, it's like Alan. Though, so. Alan's got property. He doesn't need, He doesn't have a terrible amount of income at the moment, but he's got property, and he could... Well, you know, what, did, what did Trump have to do in order to... By the way... But I think he got more than what he was During this to period get. of time with these taxes, didn't he also sell the... The, the uh, old post yeah, office right. in Washington. He sold that hotel, the Trump no, that, hotel. Uh, I thought that was in 21. 
I thought he did the one from the city too, Alex, right? Didn't you say that? But I don't think he he may not have made any money off of it. He may have owed more money on that than he was, you know, than he. uh, I I thought the post office hotel was profitable. It may have been profitable, but that doesn't mean he didn't pay for it uh, and owe tons of money on what he built it for or what he re- and, renovated and remember for. in 21 people were buying things for crazy money well what i'm saying is he, he had to unload it because he didn't have the money uh maybe uh, what but, do you mean uh, maybe that's why he unloaded it phil why do you unload a phil a a, a a a hotel that you've put millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars go. into only to keep it for two years I he thought that was because they were saying there were some improprieties and that he didn't want these improprieties. He needed to get out of there. It was impropriety. It's yeah. the owner. If he doesn't have money, yeah, why is he selling NFTs of himself? Yeah, that looks tacky, Phil. Yeah, he's right about that. Why you know, would he, why would, if you're really worth that much, why would you do that? I have a Trump coin, and Alan bought it. Al, Al, Alan actually has... Trump coin. This is really Don, you get the coin? Donnie has the Trump that. comics. You or should sell them. it. Tell you Trump comics. Those suckers will pay any over a hundred dollars. I have a Trump comic from uh, from Tony. Did I send it to you? I think I did, right? Yeah. I asked you if you want it back since it's worth so much. No, no, I got plenty of copies. I bought a ton of raw books on those. I knew I was getting forty percent off. I knew I got I got a great smoke. I think you. Said I maybe would get rid of them soon, Tony. Yeah, I got I got to send out the CGC. I'm gonna I'm gonna because I got to strike while the iron's hot because I think this guy's gonna go yeah. down in flames soon. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> forget about him already. Yeah, but how much did you pay? Follow him now. How much? How much did you pay for each of those comic books? Uh, I bought them wholesale, so I probably paid about two fifty for them. I'm guessing maybe three dollars. So you spent about three hundred dollars. Yeah, oh, I didn't buy a hundred of those. I bought like twenty five copies of oh. each cover. Like one, he's fighting with Obama. Obama's beating him up. I graded that. Let me it's, go get mine. I, I got know what it is. Yeah. It's good to know that you only spent two fifty on Phil. You no, know, so I was buying them on wholesale, but then I would send them out in the better copies, and I get them graded by CGC. Well, you know, in a, in a way, in a way to uh, get, Trump it, it, get his taxes it, uh, in so, order. So I saw, yeah, I play more of my comics and Trump to on stack. Exactly. I saw Trump's Trump's collecting <laughs> cards, whatever they're called. Are now for sale for two dollars and ninety nine cents on TikTok. Really, I'm telling you, these suckers. They were ninety nine dollars for the whole. Yeah, ne- last week they were ninety nine dollars. Now they are two dollars and ninety nine cents on TikTok. Trump cards. Don't take TikTok. Now, who did the Trump comics? What comic? Book? Uh, I'm what, not it was, signing up. For it was an independent comic publisher. I think it was Antarctic Press. Yeah, I never I'm really. Sure. So they must be a small publishing house. I, I like that big, they don't print them a lot. Of the U.S. Stuff. government printed them. Uh, Antarctic Press comic. Yeah, that's it. Big. It's Antarctic Press. Oh, yeah, big. I don't know where they're located. They might be Canada, Phil. Tell tell he's a little smarter than he looks sometimes. Oh, Phil. listen, <clears throat> Alex is right. All I do is I I am like into the information like you, Alex. I love the computers and looking up stuff and stacking things. I love doing that stuff. Let me show Alex the cover. Is that where he's the Hulk? Is that a ripoff of yeah. the Kirby cover? It is. They ripped off Jack Kirby, Hulk number one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, but that's it's a parody, so that's yeah, it's a parody yeah. of the Hulk number one. Yeah, yeah. So. Did they let? I'm surprised Marvel let them do that, but I guess yeah. they can't. So yeah. Well, hold on to that, Phil. Yeah. It may be worth something. Phil, if you scan it on eBay right now and put it up, I bet you get at least forty dollars for it raw. Those suckers will buy, will bid on it, Alex. They love Trump. I'm telling you. Really. That's what we talked about on Saturday was the fact that that's why Trump did those things because there's morons out there that'll buy the shit. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I see it all the But time. the fact that they're only worth two ninety nine a piece now. Yeah, but there's a maybe, bunch of morons who buy for No, 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 no. no. I'm, t- I'm talking about the Trump cards. Yeah, the there's NFTs. a bunch of morons out there that bought it for ninety nine. Absolutely. Made tons Absolutely. of money. Kevin's right. Absolutely. Well, I, you know, I could, I could say horrible things about people who buy those things, but I have a Trumpy bear. Oh, you got a Trumpy bear? Yeah, I have a Trumpy bear. Yeah. Throw yeah. them around the house when you get mad. It's, it, I still got the Trump pen. I, I kind Number of. Remember when you bought that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he's insanely jealous, Trump, of uh, 
of the real billionaires because he wants to be in that club so bad. I think he wanted to own an NFL yeah, team. It didn't I'll work tell out. you, Tony, I think at one time he was a real billionaire. I think at one time he, he, right. he may yeah, have. Not, at, not, at, maybe in the 80s. Yeah, but not by the time he got into doing The Apprentice. Well, if he was a billionaire, yeah. why the hell would he be doing a weekly TV show? I well, mean, Cuban he, does that well, too, though. Cuban's was, getting out. He is? I yeah. like Cuban. I know he's getting out. Okay, but and, yeah, uh, but that Kevin uh Kevin oh, yeah. guy See, Kevin O'Leary. Uh, yeah, he's having some issues with uh this uh, the F F X uh, FT, the FTX. Guys. Well he yeah. he did some commercials for him, which quite frankly I'm not gonna hold against him. I mean right. he's a brand and he he's for sale. And he did his uh he did his uh a thing, uh uh, he did a commercial for them. Larry David did a commercial for them. Oh, really? How okay. Yeah. Uh, although but, Larry David's can't be considered an endorsement because the whole ad was him going, ah, that's never going to happen. You know? Now, Tom Brady also did an endorsement. Yeah. Tom Brady, I think, is a baseball or a football yeah. player. Well, in, oh, my. In, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Showing him. There are people that said that they had bought these um, these crypto things mm -hmm. because Tom Brady and Kevin O'Leary. Well, Kevin O'Leary, Ke Kevin O'Leary, and I guess the rest of them got paid for doing these commercials. Got paid in Bitcoin or in hit in the FTX yeah. coin or whatever. And that's what O'Leary lost. It wasn't like he lost money over it. I understand, it just, but there he, are people, regular people, that say they bought oh, these yeah. crypto things. Oh, yeah. I saw this woman on doing... TV today, who, a woman who went all the way down to the Bahamas to go yell and scream at him. Really? Because, because he, she said that was her, uh, that was her um, retirement Retire. fund. Oh, wow. you know? And that she's that. now nothing. I don't know. Bernie made Bernie Madoff sure screwed over a lot of people. Well, too. this guy is considered to be almost as bad as Bernie Madoff, and look who we got here. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Well, not Bernie Madoff. <laughs> <laughs> not Bernie Madoff. Hi. Hey. By the hey, way, hi. did I did I hear that that Harvey Weinstein the trial got uh, dismissed so. because it was. Uh, was a hung jury, or no? It, it was uh, some some kind of impropriety or something, and that the whole case was thrown out of court. He yeah. had a date with the judge, probably. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Real news. Phil didn't see it. <laughs> well, well, well I figured. I figured that Weinstein on some of these things would skate. You know, it was like three out of the seven. Charges against him were stuck, and the rest didn't, you know. But then the judge called a mistrial because there were some improprieties in the information and the way it was handled and so on. Yes. Uh, does Does anybody think the Justice Department's actually going to charge Trump with these uh, charges that the uh, the, the, the Congress? Uh, the I don't. Th I don't know if they're going to they're going to charge him with any of that. Although you know. See that that those he can he can't skate on them, but they they can go into court and he can say, well, my lawyers told me there was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and you know they're all kinds of. You're still responsible, even if the lawyer says. Yeah, but that anyway, the yeah, yeah, law. that's true. But still, there are things he could do with that. The one that may stick, and is far more criminal, believe it or not, is the stealing of government documents. Yeah. That yeah, one, they, that one, that one is not. They say is they pretty serious. A reasonable doubt, and that there's that good, good proof beyond a reasonable doubt that Absolutely. he took these things when he left office, and he lied to the government about having them. Now, didn't Obama and Clinton no, both? Take no, I saw things? Obama on TV, and he said, "No, I never took anything home." I thought except that except for except for me furniture store. except for memorabilia. Uh huh. Well, well, that was memorabilia to Trump. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was an idiot. It, he was it an was idiot. The, had to uh, understand the, the menu from the state no, dinner. Uh, Obama didn't keep anything, right, Charlie? Went, Charlie's been very quiet this hour, right, Charlie? Yeah. Well, he's still counting. 
<laughs> you know, Obama. Uh, you know, he, he Obama did everything right by the by the book. You know, well, no, even Bush didn't take home any documents. No, no Bush I wasn't. Bush did take documents. No, not no. classified documents. No, there are certain documents that don't have any. You know, when they say top secret on them, I think yeah. you don't want to take them home. Okay. They don't belong in your basement at Mar-a-Lago where everybody in the world is coming in and out of the place and there you got a box full of things that say top secret on them. I can't believe he was so stupid. Well, he's got, this, he's got this, this golf course. Go bury him somewhere. Go bury him next to your ex-wife. I wonder, I wonder what was in those folders. You know? What, I wonder what's, what's really in, in the coffins. Folders. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to know what's in them, yeah. They were probably empty. I think some of them probably were, because he probably yeah. took the stuff out of them and put them somewhere else. And in the golf course in a coffin. That's yep. right. Yep. yep. You think yep. that's why his wife fell down the stairs? Same I want. I think the question is is even more important. Why did he take these things in the first place? Yeah. He wanted to sell them. He wanted to Make sell money. them exactly. Sell them. Yeah. Wanted to sell them to the Russians, but the Russians are running wondering. out of money because of the war. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, let's see. We got a couple of minutes left here. Anybody have yeah. anything that? Uh... So you're on this week, but not next week, right? Not next week. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was this week. So we're taking the whole sure. week off. Except I may still do the Monday show. I don't know why. I just like mm, that show so you. easy and fun to do that. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I could, I could just I'll do. I'll be it. here. Yeah, Alan okay. and Tony, you should call. <laughs> no, no, too early no. for me in the day. But, no, but you know what? You always say you're tired and stuff like it. But what time is it right now for you? Right now, it's it's about almost midnight, right? Almost midnight. Yeah. Do yeah. you and Jeff stay up all this late? I, I don't know if I, if you were on midnight here, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be. On too yeah, late. I couldn't stay up that late. Yeah. So, so I know you say you're, you're well, maybe on the moon and all that stuff, but man, you guys, you guys I are stay up till like I stay up late. I watch. Yeah, well, Tony is all hopped up. Tony and I would be on the cool. show. He starts really drinking his first cup of Kevin coffee at about uh, midnight. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna watch like some old shows down till like one. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll get you on YouTube, Alex, watching some kind of documentary. Oh, wait a minute! It isn't stuff. Kevin that sends him the coffee? It's uh, Alan. it's Alan. Alan. Yeah. I'm on Maxwell House right now, Al. Sorry, I'll, I'll send you something better. Are you oh. smoking it or mainlining it? <laughs> no, I, I have it at night when I'm reading my books and stuff. So really, it helps them go to Good sleep. Idea. All the caffeine. Hmm. Yeah, it keeps me up hmm. when I'm reading and doing stuff. So. Oh, is man. pot uh, legal in, in California now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Long time. I never bought it. Wait, long before it ever was uh, in New York. You can mm. you can be in possession of an ounce. Or less if you're 21 and older and have no felonies and no drug convictions. It's legal in New York now, you know, yeah, but yeah. It, but it's just not. They don't have any stores yet. And yeah. as they say, the okay. first store the first store opens up next week. But if you, you buy a Kona rifle with a pistol grip in California, you, it's a felony. You can't buy yeah, a rifle online with a because you have to use a bank card to pay for it. Banks won't. You can't use banks to pay for. It. Oh really? Oh, okay. Would they yeah, roll the drones? Yeah, on Tulsa King, they've got that guy that sells the pot, and yeah. uh, he, he has a safe with all the money in it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A lot of the stores in you know have a lot of big heavy duty safes with cash. Yeah, but they're also allowing uh, gambling here in New York. You know, with yeah. the with the DraftKings and the crap mm. like that, which I don't that I don't approve of. Just do not approve of it. They push and, you for that casino in the city. Yeah. Tonight. Oh, they want to build a casino in Forty Second Street, Times yeah. Square. So that should not happen, Alex. It should That's not be happen. A nightmare. Absolutely yeah. not. Uh, let, the, let the tourists well, we have, let the tourists yeah, go where they've Connecticut. always been going, New Jersey. Okay. Well, anyway, they, hey, listen, they don't do well in New Jersey. Maybe Trump can put the one in Times Square. Yeah. Right. Then it'll really oh, yeah. fail. Uh, anyway, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, um, 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 Happy uh, birthday, uh, Alan. Happy thank birthday. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Tony. And thank you to Kevin. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go. That's our citizen panel. 
Ah, yes. And, uh, you know, Jack is not here tonight or, or for the rest of the month. Uh, and he'll probably be here maybe towards the first couple of weeks of next month. But we play old shows of his. So that's what's coming up next. I'm Alex Banner. We'll see you again tomorrow night right here. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, what's that? We don't want that. This is what we want. There we go. Good night, everybody.